Every year in the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesotans brave the winter elements in an attempt to return hockey to its roots by bringing the game outdoors to backyard rinks and ponds throughout the state. Winters get really long in Minnesota, and there's nothing better to me than people being able to truly enjoy being outside of Minnesota. And we decided that we want to do a backyard rink. By skating outdoors, kids gain an appreciation for a little bit of extra hard work to kind of earn their rink or, or create their own rink. I grew up playing hockey and loved being able to just go out on my parents. They lived on a little lake. It was great to just walk out the back door and go skate. Watching a, a group of kids out on the rink, especially for the first time, with a stick in their hands and, and shoot that first puck into the goal and, and get that excitement, that little bit of adrenaline rush that they, they actually could score a goal. It, somehow inherently in their blood or something. I think that the heritage of, of hockey in Minnesota runs a lot deeper. It's just something that we want to instill in our kids as well. But the process of preparing a backyard winter oasis begins long before temperatures reach their freezing point. We start out sometime right around Halloween, maybe a little bit later, by getting the boards up. Two small ones that came with it. And it seems to be a process, now this is the second year we've done it, but uh, to get everything square and as level as we can get it. I mean, it's not terribly hard work, it just takes a lot of time to bolt all the sections together and a lot of tedious, uh, tedious work. It's not a one-person job by any means, so Got mom and dad and brother and sister-in-law and our boys and their boys, so kind of a family affair, trying to get it all put together, waiting for Mother Nature to turn the temps down so we can get some ice. Once the temperatures start dropping and we're feeling really good about the fact that we can get some frozen water out there, uh, we put the liner in, then get the water dumped, which takes about 11,000 gallons of water, with two milk trucks worth of water to, to dump. It was probably 10 minutes there to dump the first load, and half hour, 40 minutes, and all is done. With snow finally on the ground, and after months of anticipation, the ice is ready for Jason's family to enjoy the fruits of their labor. I think it's a huge advantage to have it you know, 300 feet from the back door or less, that we come home from work and the boys say, Daddy, can we go skate? And I can't say no to that. <laughs> Mommy doesn't want to tie your skates yet? Oh, let's fix this first. Better? Yeah. Yeah? You <laughs> goofball. Ready to go skate? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. You know, there's, there's something special about getting out on that rink as soon as it's frozen and watching those boys learn how to skate or, or, or take what they've learned at the rink now out to, the, out to our little sheet of ice. There you go, just little baby steps. Little steps, there you go. Little steps. Good job, buddy. Watching them improve just from the time that they first start when they are basically just on the ground the entire time. Skate to mommy first. Oh, keep your feet underneath you. There you go, like that. To now our five-year-old Weston can skate faster than I can. To be able to take those first steps on skates is, is pretty incredible. It's a lot of fun. You know, I want to see these boys out having fun, getting outside, fresh air in the winter time. There you go. Nice shot. As the page on the calendar turns to a new year, activity on the pond is at a fever pitch, filled with family and friends alike. We offer up the rink to neighbors and friends to skate and people just jump on the opportunity to get the kids out there. It's like this tradition that keeps on flowing. Time spent together is the biggest thing. Oh no! To me what makes it worth it is I think that camaraderie and, and friendship is, is pretty cool too, all rallying around a sheet of ice. You know?